because I thought we'd do Bruce Ervations, uh, one of them, which I don't even like letting anybody else write for me, but Chris, our producer, did come up with a good one. He said uh, Brian Stelter has left CNN. We hope he lands on his feet, and, boy, that's going to be hard on his feet. Uh, so, yeah, I, <laughs> that's probably better. He's going to have – Brian Stelter's going to have plenty of time to go tubing now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I – I, I don't know where that guy could possibly land up. Anyway, another thing I I had read uh, that uh, Emily Barr, the former uh, Channel 7 general manager, and she was wildly successful at Channel 7. She wrote that uh, one for, for quite a while. She wrote a piece in some TV management uh, uh, website how we should uh, pay uh, uh, a tribute to the news directors uh, in television uh, how hardworking they are, how they take all the heat, how they have so many things that they're right. responsible for. And I'm, I'm thinking they're all carbon copies of each other. First of all, in Chicago, you have to be named Jennifer in order to be a news director. <laughs> uh, no, there, there were two of them at one time in Chicago named Jennifer. Um, it's like if you're a late night host, you got to be named Jimmy. Right. Exactly. So I had a Bruce Ovation, uh, former Channel 7 boss, Emily Barr, who once I should do this in a cup voice, I think uh, former Channel 7 boss Emily Barr, who once told me practically her whole life story in a 30 second elevator ride, literally an elevator pitch, <laughs> risk getting monkey pox from this loving act performed on your fungible newsroom. Jennifer's. Uh, yeah, she was too. Uh, and I don't even know if women can get it, but if they can get it, she risked getting it for what she did. <laughs> Uh, to those women. All right. So that is our uh, day. Oh, one other item there. Uh, Mark Greco and Janet Davies seen spooling spaghetti in booth one at Fritzel's. Um, okay. uh, and they had to compete with Sid Luckman for, for that booth. 